Hi, welcome to Space Coast Channel's Lively Brevard Show. I'm Jennifer Cleveland, and I'm here with Terry Jones, and she's the author of a book, A Love Story, and we're here at her book signing and book release. Hi, Terry. It is so wonderful to be here with you tonight with this just incredibly loving crowd. Can you tell us a little bit about um, you and your book? Well, nice to meet with you as well, Jennifer, and thank you for asking me to talk with you. I can say that my book, A Love Story, is about really challenges that we go through when we have love, we feel love, challenges that we go through as it relates to greed, other feelings such as happiness, sadness, vanity, and this book basically is about love and her aquatic voyage because she's on an island that has sank and now she has to find her way to the other side without a boat. However, the other feelings have a boat. so. Love has to see if she can get some of those other feelings like sadness, happiness, greed, and vanity to let her get on their boat. And so the story talks about her challenges, working with the different feelings to get to the other side. And in the end, there is the lesson of forgiveness. And so it's a great read. It's a family book. It's a faith-based book. And it's a book that's for everybody, regardless of age. It's a very spiritual related book. Wonderful. And what, what uh, inspired you to write this book? What inspired me to write this book is just my own experiences and uh, watching other people interact as it relates to understanding how our feelings work within us and how we react to different attitudes and how other people's feelings are. So I thought what would be fun is to take all the feelings out there, not all of them because that book could go on forever, right. and just write a story that would show the interaction. So to help people understand how feelings are true to what they are, however, doesn't mean that's the end of the world. And particularly with the message of forgiveness in the story, it just makes the book so much more empowering and it makes you think about the power of forgiveness. And that was really one of my big intents, to show the challenges, to show how we are all are so true to our feelings, but at the same time, we can still have positive outcomes if we choose to look beyond just that feeling at that moment in time. That's, what a blessing, and we really need that in our society right now, you know, with everything going on. And um, what, um, tell us a little bit about your history, like uh, where you came from and how you got here today. Okay. Well, short end of a long story, I uh, was born in Ju Wiesbaden, Germany, raised in Sacramento, California, uh, enlisted in the military when I was 17 years old, served eight years in the military, 12 years uh, in the military army, as enlisted 12 years as an officer, retired right here. That's how I got to Florida, <laughs> from Patrick Air Force Base. And um, I think you heard the introduction from my youngest sister. She talked about how I've always, yes, I have. She was being honest. I have always been a writer. And so I have a very creative mind. And as you can see, you know, <laughs> I have put things together very creatively. So we just, you know, took all of that and I, um, just embrace my writing talent. I love to write, and that's what got me here today with the book. I wrote the book several years ago, like in the mid 90s, but I was looking for the right author, and that's what, I'm sorry, not the right author, the right illustrator. That's what took me a while to get the book published. And then when I realized the cost to get a book published, <laughs> Right. <laughs> that almost scared me away, but I was ready. I was so ready to go ahead at this point in time and get the book published. So I decided, you know, I'm just going to go for it. And I'm glad I did, because I think I have like the best illustrator on the earth, and uh, I have a great book. And our plans are to write sequels, because we want to keep our readers engaged and, you know, look forward to, okay, what's the next journey? Is it going to be love? Is it going to be sadness? Is it going to be greed? Is it going to be vanity? Who's going to take on the next journey? What's that going to look like in the end? So That sounds absolutely wonderful. And, and it's just the energy in here is wonderful. Um, I love that it's faith-based. I, I love that. And, you know, and um, where can we find your book? Okay, um, to find my book, I do have a website. It's a love story by Terry dot com. A love story by Terry dot com. And so that's a great place. <laughs> Not only can you find a book on that website, but you can find some really more interactive and interesting pictures and information about myself and my illustrator as well as upcoming events because we do have 
future future events posted on that website as well. Wonderful. Great. Well, thank you so much. And it was so nice to meet you. And let's get back to all of the wonderful people that love you. And um, have a wonderful night. And congratulations. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. I really appreciate this time with you. And absolutely. Thank you to everybody out there, you know, come get the book. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Go to her website, get the book. And thank you all for joining us.